There we are. Staircase, slope ceiling. Just a small set. Um, so I was, I was here back in uh, 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 just before Christmas. I just want to show you a room that I've done. Okay, that's all been painted. So one of the videos that I put on YouTube is me doing this uh, um, false ceiling. Okay, this is the after touch. So I've said a couple of coats of this coat. This ceiling here, that is our text as well. Right, that's the finish. It's not been painted, that's just how it's dried. And, uh, and obviously this is painted. Now I'm now going to do this slope here that I've done a couple of weeks back for Christmas. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, I'll try and talk as I go through it, but um, <laughs> you know, I've got a scaffold board going across. Sometimes there's no other way you can do do uh, um, ceilings on staircases. I mean, there are scaffold um, decks that you can use for stair staircase, but by the time you set it up, by the time you got to keep moving it back and forth and that, it's just quicker to do it like this. Yes, there's a bit of red tape of health and safety in, in on size and stuff like that, but as long as you're careful and mindful of what you do, this is all you need. So I've got a set of ladders at the bottom, scaffold board going across, and I've just got to move it up and down to when I go further down, as you'll see in the video. Uh, hope you enjoy. Everything that comes into contact with plaster. So your trowel, you know, you want to wet. Your hawk, you want to wet. Right, scoop it on, scoop it off. Yeah, you take it off, put it on, then you want to get all around that with plaster. It's wet because you don't want to be turned like that and all sludges off, okay? Don't mix it so it's runny, but don't do it too, too thick. You want it just right, but it will come in time. I can't tell you how you need to do your mix because you're not here, um, only through the video, okay? But it, you'll, you'll learn. As you go on in time, you'll learn the right mix for you, the right gauge for you in, 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 in the years to come. It's not gonna happen overnight. You're not going to be perfect overnight. You're not going to be successful overnight. Overnight, it's going to take time. If you've got patience, you'll get there. If you haven't got patience, then plastering isn't the trade for you because with plastering, not only do you need to be uh, agile and fit and right-minded, you also need to be patient. Okay, you cannot rush this job. It won't go off any quicker than it's going to go off. So don't be sitting there trilling your phone saying, oh, where's this going to go off? And putting loads more on. Just wait. When it's ready, it will pick up. Then you can top coat it with a fresh coat. Artex, I would never recommend doing one coat. Or would I recommend putting it on with this mix, trying it up, and then top coating it with the same mix. Okay, I'd always recommend putting it on with this mix, trialing it up, doing enough for the ceiling that you're doing or the walls that you're doing so you don't waste any any product, okay? Trial it, leave it, and then do a second mix, a, mix, a fresh mix, to then top coat it. That way you won't see any of the hidden R text, okay? You're gonna get the odd lump of bump, but you wanna see no R text.
So now I've just got to adjust the scaffold board with the steps, move the steps, put the scaffold on a lower step so I can then reach the middle bit. You don't need to rush, right? Don't be going like a lunatic trying to get on as fast as you can. That's how accidents happen. And also, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. As long as you've done the right mix to the right gauge, it's not gonna go off in the bucket, okay? For this, it's just literally just under half a bucket, a small bucket that is. If you're afraid of heights, then I don't recommend you doing this. Get in Right, so I've now done the top bit, the middle bit. I've now, I now need to move the scaffold board lower on the, the rung on the ladder, so there'll be a bit of an incline, a decline, sorry, on the balls. I'll be going down at a vertical angle.
Almost there. Right, now I've got it on, I'll brush it around the sides and I'll try it out with this. Not a flexi trial, not a speed trial with, with, uh, with the trial that I put on because as I text you want it to, you want to flatten it, not just go over it, just flatten it, get it nice and hard so when it starts picking up you then top it. But I'll always try it with this first before I use the others. Don't worry about your line, start away. You pick that up on your second trial when you use the speed skin. Thank you. 
Now when you finish doing the trial, clean your trials afterwards, okay? Don't leave that like it and then expect it to be soft when you trial up again. This will start going off and then you're forever trying to clean. Always clean your tools. Some of you might disagree, but that's just me. My preference is how I do things, all right? Right, now I'll use this. So this is the Ultraflex 12, all right? It's 18 inch stainless steel, so always look after this, always clean it, and be careful of the edges, because if you hit anything metal, you're gonna get a little line come through, so always uh, be mindful of that. Maybe have a little in-between sandpaper and give it a little rub down occasionally. But always, always keep this clean, as if it's brand new all the time. So that's that song. Beautiful these are when you use them properly, you know. 
I've seen people put these, use these to put plaster on. <laughs> just why would you? But you learn, you know, and you will learn that this isn't, you, this isn't, this purpose for this isn't for putting plaster on the walls. You know, it's just a finishing trial, that's it. But people will disagree with me because they've got their own ways. I don't care. I know what's true to me. I know myself, all right? Um, so this is all, all the videos I like do with me showing plaster and the methods way. this is all for guys. When I say guys, I mean men and women, teenagers who are just starting off in the trade. Not for the experience, not for you guys who have been doing this long enough and you've picked up your own habits or whatever. It's purely for them, okay? Um, everyone's got their own way. And I'm not telling you what to do or how to do things. I'm just giving you a little bit of friendly advice and tips on how I do things. And if you want to pinch a bit of that to add onto your method, then great. Because all I want to achieve is that you become the greatest plasterer for yourself. You know, and that you succeed and your business succeeds. That's great. That's all I want. I don't want plasters out there who are just going to be crap at what they do because they hate doing what they do. You know, I want you to succeed and I want you to love doing what you're doing. Right, so that's it. You should be able to see. I was a little bit dark in there, but I think if you can zoom in, you might be able to see how I've done it. But that's just a little, uh, that's just the, uh, it's just the way that I do things when I come to doing uh, stairs. So I hope that maybe you've picked something up that may help you with, uh, with your trade. All right, take care.